I'm not a great athlete, but I think I'm a good football player. I've played for a long time, and I know a lot about the game. And uh, because I've been around for a long time now, you know, my football instincts are 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 pretty good. And I try to be in the right place at the right time. The right time for Steve Largent is when a clutch reception is needed. The right place is usually the end zone. Largent possesses the intense concentration of a Zen master, and he could probably snatch a buzzing fly out of the air with chopsticks. Although defensive backs try to cover him like a blanket, they are the ones who get lulled to sleep. He will mesmerize you and just flat turn you around. There's no way you can cover him if you look in his face or at his shoulders. You have to know that every game we go into, they're double covering him or keen on him on certain situations. And when he comes up with the catch, you just realize how great he is. Margin seems unbound by the rules of gravity. He dives forward, he sails upward, and he moves backward. Steve Largent has the hands of a surgeon, the mind of a technician, and the body control of a contortionist. You know, a lot of people, they have to look at the football into their hands. Steve can look at, look at the football and then turn the other way and catch on the other side of his body like nobody else can. He's got great concentration, great hands, and he has an intense desire to want to catch the football, and he's a very competitive person. Regardless of the situation, I found that, you know, I compete just as hard at the beginning as I do at the end. And as a receiver, uh, what that really means is just being consistent in what you do on the football field, that your routes are consistent, uh, that you catch the ball consistently, uh, that you're doing your proper assignment consistently. Largent also has the reputation of being consistently slow-footed. A lot of people have tagged me that a lot. and. Uh, you know, I think the older I've gotten, the more I've lived up to their expectations. I think I'm slowing down a bit. But, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, I'm still able to move around the football field fairly well and separate from people. He's faster than what people think. He has a lot of things going for him, and I think one thing going for him that's great is that everyone says he doesn't have great speed. <laughs> so when you go into the game, you think, well, you know, he doesn't have great speed. I'm going to kind of relax and just stay close. But he comes off the line, and he, he really has a great tempo and he, he can stop and change direction and speed up so quickly that he really throws defensive backs for a loss a lot of times. A defensive back's loss is the Seahawks' game, especially when Largent gets close to the end zone. The time that uh, I really hit my hot button is once we get inside the opponent's 30-yard line, once we get down and uh, we're within easy striking distance. That's when things really get exciting right then because you can make big plays and get the ball in the end zone. And, and that's the fun part of playing football. Dedication and discipline, rather than size and speed, have made Steve Largent a star, a star that is still ascending.